This is the new Insta360 X4. So as you'd expect, the X4 is an upgrade over the X3. It has a better image sensor, now capable of 8K quality at up to 30 FPS, and it still does 5.7K, but now up to 60 frames per second. But a new image sensor is to be expected from any update to an action camera. That's not huge news. What's more interesting here is all of the updates to the software. See, the Insta360 X4 has Bluetooth, meaning this can connect to the comm system that's already on my helmet and record audio straight from there. If you've watched Jalopnik motorcycle videos, you might be used to my silver helmet that is just covered in microphone cables and tape and adapters. It's a mess. With this, I don't need any of that. The sound does take a hit relative to the prior setup that I've been running, but that's only an issue you're coming from such a moto vlog style kit. See, that's one great benefit for motorcyclists, but there's more. We are normally wearing these when we're out on the bike, which makes it difficult to mess around with touchscreens. Now, with the Insta360 X4, I can just hold it up, and so long as it sees my face, hold up a gloved hand and start recording. Or hold up a gloved hand and stop. The other big update here is battery life. When you're using an action camera mounted to your chin, you can easily run a stealthy little wire up to your hydration pack where you've got your giant battery sitting there. This is a little trickier. Because it films in 360 degrees, where are you going to run a cable without it getting in the shot? So the Insta360 X4, I'm having a lot of fun with this hand motion, has a 66% longer battery life than the X3. The trade-off is that the battery is physically different. It's physically larger than its predecessor, so none of your X3 batteries will fit. The Insta360 X4 carries over me mode from the previous camera, but now at up to 120 frames per second. Get all your fancy Wachowski sisters speed ramping going on. And of course, you don't need to worry about that high-speed footage being all off-kilter because the Insta360 X4 has horizon lock, which means that no matter how you tilt the camera or mount it just horribly on your motorcycle, ask me how I know, it can keep the horizon flat in the image, making it look like you mounted it normally. So is the Insta360 X4 worth it? It's $50 more than the X3. If you have neither camera, I would say it's a worthwhile upgrade. If you already have the X3, it's a tougher sell. We don't know if any of these software updates will trickle down to the X3. You can get them on the Ace, so it might be possible. But even then, would I rather upgrade to this, spend a whole nother $500, or just figure out a way to record audio on my own? If I only had the X3, I think I'd wait for this to go on sale first. But if you don't have anything and you're looking to get your start in motovlogging, it's a hell of an option.